hitting the live button now. Uh, only the top 20 points position show. <laughs> Greetings, virtual racing fans. I am Charlie Gearhart, and we are back for another race in the Fargo Dollar Series. Today, we are at Nelson Ledges for the Bum and Beaver Brewery Happy Hour, the very first timed race in Fark history. We're going to be going one hour plus two laps, and as always, I will be joined for the festivities by my off-color commentators in the EFR Discord and by the YouTube chat. How is everyone doing today? I'm doing fine. Wonderful. I'm hoping this will be a happy hour, not an unhappy hour. Well, if the drivers keep it clean and green, then it will be a happy hour for everybody involved. But, as we all know, this is Farg. How likely do you think that's going to be? As likely as something a coin and ending up on its side. We are back. Hello. Hooray. We're gonna try this again. I forgot to save it halfway. That's why uh that's why we are uh that's why we're gonna go racing again. The weed smoke from the rave across the street floated over the track and uh, we had to shut things down. <laughs> Unfortunately we're gonna have to run through qualifying again. I didn't save that. Yeah. And everybody who wrecked out gets a second chance. The Hooray. For today. Yeah, so, um, hell was that? Nelson Ledges, like, the, the actual state park is known for being just, like, a, a party haven. <laughs> All right. So it is now Kelly Splicen on the pole with Taylor Matthews on her outside. Daniel Sharp and VJ Pushanda make up row two. MPJ starts all the way back in row number three with Ty McDermott on her outside. We've got, uh, where the hell is our points leader, Daniel Sharp? Oh, there he is, row two. Oops. Lucas Sweeney once again struggling in qualifying. Yeah. Um, and then and Rick Tyler, P2 in points, down to 10th. Isaac Leitner Big. on his inside. And Sergei Akovsky and Bob Steffens in row number For our title sponsor cars, Myatt, top 20, 19th, Griffith, 28th. For some of these guys, the, the Bum and Beaver field. cars Let's have some in. work to do. Well, there's a car with Bum and Beaver on it in third. That is true. It is true. Surely oh, nothing bad is going to happen, and they'll rise to the top. Now let's I'll see if Taylor you. remembers not to use the car in front of her as a breaking point this time. How smashy was the first run through before I showed up? It was, was kind of smashy, but stayed green. For a long time. Mm. Who lost the brakes? Uh, Rip Tyler on his qualifying run, I think. Oh. One way to find out. One hour and 59 seconds. Nice. Oh, wait, that's 59 and 69. Yeah, I'm paying attention. He's okay. Green flag. 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 Paying attention is overrated. Apparently. I don't know. So I've been told. <laughs> Ellie Splicen takes the early lead over Taylor Matthews, going through the carousel. BJ Pushanda trying to take third from Daniel Sharp. Oh, we got Holy a caution shit, already. Car ah. 23 oh, the wall. That's a caution. That's um, payback. Oh, that was a uh, game. significant um, accident. Oh, Hetzel. Oh, got wait. Caught. Okay. Who is it? My fault. But still, you got caught up in Hetzel's mess. Yeah, that's something new. That's yeah, not Three wide does not work out. No, yes, it does. Hetzel gets 
I know. Oh, oh dude, we got a few. Oh, wow. Pencil took oh, out I'll four cars Anakin. with that. <laughs> Roads. Okay, that was impressive. Okay, that's Corvo, Carbon no. It's a bl he became a blable. Bla bla I don't really think Hetzel had much to do with that. He was, uh, I think he was put in yeah. a bad spot by the 38. Yeah. Real yeah, karma know, moment for the 38. <laughs> Dead. The 38 is pretty much done in by a thousand paper cuts, basically. Uh, no, that's just, uh, one big, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing Roy, Gwaltney, and Rhodes all found invisible sand pits. That's yes. Big... <laughs> there may be Whoa, some secret sand oh, that's pits three on wide. this track. Ooh, three wide for third place. That's not going to Surely this out. will end well. Nope. Is the Discord okay. stream still like, good, by the way? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. good. Slightly choppy, but we'll, we're, wow. we're, we're living. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, what the... the scut up? <laughs> Chaos. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my goodness. Oh, we're That's... getting... Oh, really? What happened here? Oh, Dachi is D dead. Dachi is Oh, not... fuck. Weaves are... Weaves have flown. That was after oh, the caution. Oh, heavens. Samantha Mason just wiped out Adashi. Ah. Samantha Mason said no anime. <laughs> God damn it, Samantha. Please tell me that I do want to able to drive away. She told Maro Adachi, dude, you haven't paid enough. You, you still Maro owe me Adachi money on Sim, not... please. Yeah, it's from all the money no on Why can I see anime? that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Ryan Gold's gonna be fine. Uh, Maro Adachi's gonna be fine too. Those were tire barriers, as violent as he's, that uh, looked. He's a he's Ryan Golden. Golden. <laughs> uh, I don't think. Let's see, how did that start? Uh, I think really Fark can't... might not be too pleased with somebody right now. And then who would that be? Uh. The person who caused the accident after the caution. <laughs> That's amazing, yeah. Okay, they take the yellow there. And she moves up the track. <laughs> and then moves up the track and sent oh, yeah. Maru Adachi to the Shadow Realm. How badly damaged is Mayu? Who's. Who? Oh, Mayu. the 67 car. Oh, the 67? Yeah. Was he in that? I know. It's all around that. Piece. It wasn't anything bad. He just, I think, he just went for a spin. Yeah, I saw he, I saw that for the twenty-seven that he was right around that. Yeah, he didn't get a big piece of that. Okay. My you almost got, yeah, my almost got a big piece of that. Yeah, let's go. Uh, on yes. his, let's go to his arm. JP, JP mayonnaise. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, it should be alright. There's not even visible damage on it. Reyes qualified pretty well, I noticed. At least I think that was now that was 62 car number one. Yeah, that's uh, VJ Pushanda in the Hindustan Petroleum Machine. Does anybody take two hits? Rich Roy and Camden Rhodes are coming out. So are, are you slowly letting more real sponsors in? It's it, it's on a case by case basis. Okay. That's what I've been doing for super trucks. Well, that's officially the biggest company that's ever been in FARC then. <laughs> What about PDVSA? Like real have, uh... Huh? PDVSA has been on far cars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Hindustan or PDVSA is bigger. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I didn't realize I... Hindustan Petroleum was real. Oh yeah. 
It's uh, hundreds um, of millions. According to this, it is PDVSA that is bigger. Oh, yeah, all right. I don't think in, I don't think India's oil reserve India's oil reserves are not nearly what Venezuela's um, are. By what? Um, I'm uh, revenue for PDVSA is uh, four billion higher than Hindustan Petroleum. All right. Dave Hetzel's gone out. Oh, yep, big engine problems on the 44. And that's your bum and beaver straight from the tap info box. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I, mean, I love that. That needs to be a thing. Yeah, that was actually, that's fucking brilliant. We already had race to the tap. <laughs> well... Incidentally, Hindustan Petroleum is the gov is government owned. Yeah, it, it, that's actually pretty common. It's a, yeah, the, uh, yeah. Oil companies across the planet are um, are usually state owned. It's only in the United States where they're not. All right, Samantha Mason's gonna get a stop and go after the restart for um, viciously wrecking Maro Adachi. Really her. Um, U.S. and U.K. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, why do we do this? Cause. Uh, uh. Cause we can. Cause uh, we threw your tea in the harbor, and now we're dragging you around and making the rest of the world laugh at you first. <laughs> uh, I think our government's already making us like an absolute. Of yeah. A bunch of a bunch of farmers beat the world's most powerful military. That surely has never happened since. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's what Green Vietnam flag War? is back out. <laughs> yeah. There's a country for called more Vietnam. Warfare. For more the, on uh, this, for more on this, check out the content of fantastic YouTuber Lin <laughs> Luna Oi. <laughs> Say so the only They're... politics we should be talking about on a FARC stream is about those based Colombian terrorists. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Luna probably had made well, a video. Or too. wait, no, they're they're a political party now. Yeah, they're they're they have um, they have a they have like two factions, but it's no, they're not like divided really. It's called Paris, but you're in the right. <laughs> Someone gets it. It's not terrorism if you're looking at the right side. It's like the Polish beer lovers party, which separate into big beer and little beer. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. That sounds, honestly, that sounds about no. right, honestly. <laughs> and then they join factions which are still, like, Polish political parties. So guess who lost the New York Islanders? <laughs> oh, Kelly Splicen has lost the team. way to Daniel Sharp somewhere along the way. That was Pittsburgh. a pretty sharp move. Pittsburgh isn't slowly draining my soul. No, what are you talking about? No, yeah, she got it off. Be the Sticky Hooves <laughs> car is definitely not glued to the track right now. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor Matthews in pursuit of the 7 car. Maybe if you watch Kelly for the entire race, she might be able to splice <laughs> together a good lap. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Oh! That is an uh, accident. I... Ooh. That is... Now that one the he didn't avoid. So the gods aren't really happy for Roy for recreating time. Rich Roy stay going from what bad to worse. Like, what, the, what if the game crashes is like... Oh, Marishal <laughs> went off the road. And then bad rejoin and... Uh, boop. So is this what happens when the game crashes because it's your fault? <laughs> I suppose it is. Anomaly oh, detected. <laughs> Oh, he's crashed again! Because he had a nightmare about crashing. Samantha Mason has served her penalty. And I think Camden Rhodes is going to be the lucky dog. But we're still racing back to the line here. Yeah, the game saw Rich Roy running and was like, anomaly detected, deleting. 
<laughs> Isaac Leitner shoving the 86 off the road. That's uh, surely. Nice. Uh, this is gonna go, go oh, bad no. real quick. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh no, oh. ABJ oh. just got... Oh, oh, oh hey, yo. Oh that's, no! Uh, that is that's, a very large accent. That's the MPJ curse right there, if we ever saw it. Do not be really close to race. Do not be creepy. MPJ's... Oh. Uh, uh, even in an accident where MPJ wasn't the biggest victim, we're still talking about MPJ. I think so. I think MPJ is going to be fine. It's more Isaac Leitner I'm worried about. Yeah, that's, uh. what, I, that's what I was getting at. Isaac Leitner shoves her Leitner off, and she goes, it. no. <laughs> Come back in, and then you go three white slows, and then Leitner like says, yeah, no, and then boom. Hello, I don't game. Know. And then, oh, oh Lucas fought me and took what a ride. Brax, and then all, it all goes, <laughs> no. On no planet. <laughs> Is MPJ in the wrong there? Uh, all kinds did... of nope there. I think he hit the uh, tire I, barrier. I'm yeah. Gonna... Yeah. Yeah. Um, Who's that blue car, uh, Gabe? That's what, yeah, yeah, that's Gabe. Yeah. Well, we're getting a different winner today. That was violent. Yeah, it was. Violence was chosen. I think the bait decided to do more fun. Slow it down. And 20. Oh. Oh, well, no, actually, Lightner that might be okay. Lightner might be okay. That was the uh, left rear. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was either, speed wise. 170, oh. yeah. Squish. Yeah. Mostly to the left rear. He'll feel it. That that it. that is a that is a door impact ish. That looks kind of bad. That, that looks, yeah, that looks yeah, really painful. Like yeah, he is like, definitely, he's def like, even if he's not, like, seriously injured, he's, he's feeling uh, it. taking, yeah, yeah, he's, he's feeling it, and, uh, he's taking his sweet time getting out. He's, I'm really failing it. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny My Moses. Mm-hmm. Moses. <laughs> that was coming Kenny back Moses. to a caution, by the way. Uh, if that was coming back to a caution. Was being idiot under caution. It was coming back. It was 27 decided to jump spawn under caution. And they're still racing back. Well, crashing back. Well, actually. Hmm. Technically speaking. That, that, that tire barrier that's adjusting out, out rather conveniently. What was that, Rich? Everything's okay. <laughs> yes. Nothing bad has happened. Everything will work out. In other words... Can we go back to the original race? I liked it when both of my cars are still running. <laughs> oh, I'm totally sure it, that's it. <laughs> uh, it was just your Um, dream. I mean, Ryan Rickshaw's 15. <laughs> Oh yeah. shit, seriously? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. I'm gonna have a few I'm gonna have a few underdogs. Yeah. For those Camden. wondering. Go ahead, Siege. Camden Rhodes gets the lucky dog. For those wondering, Rex Shaw's background is in uh GT or Trans Am cars. So um he, question. Answer. If um, if he wins, does he get upgraded to uh, Ryan Tuck Tuck? <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> I like that. If he then starts winning, flipping off wins, when do you come to Ryan? He's, he's just a little or something like that. Oh, then oh, then he become no. If he, if he keeps winning, he become Ryan Motor Scooter, and then eventually he'd get his way up to um. <laughs> Automobile. So e -bike. I also plan on him running at Carl Superstore because someone told him it was a street course and he didn't he didn't realize it was a 
all, mostly left-handers. It it is on a street. All no one. Same. Yeah, but he's he's under the assumption it's an actual road course. <laughs> um, Caesar's mm. Palace says hello. So yeah. uh, Caesar's Sophie Palace wrecks eighty four anyway. Sophie wrecks out. Does he become Daniel Dulled? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> May have already accomplished that at Talladega last year. Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> oh no! Well, no. Then, then he, then he was Daniel Splat. Got a few takers from the back of, of the field. Uh, it's all the takers in the back. Roll the dice. What else do they have to do? Ty McDermott, why are you back there? Because he spun uh, out. Did? Yeah, early in the race. Opening, oh. opening laps. Yeah, he spun Wait, out twice. He, uh... uh he spun out at the end of the uh, the kink, and then uh, going into the next turn, uh, Rick Forrest made an appearance, and they both went spinning off in the final turn. Yeah, it'll be... I think it was lap one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he went off. Oh, I missed this part. Wait, wait no, wait, no, didn't. you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Right, right. <laughs> Look. it's It's been a long night. Longer than I would like. Understandable. Well, hopefully you can hold in for another 47 minutes. <laughs> hopefully the game doesn't crash. Yeah. When someone tells you to break a leg in an audition, they're hoping you end up in the cast. If the series, <laughs> if they don't go the full distance, the entire series loses their free beer pass. <laughs> I mean, the full distance. One hour, or you don't get here. The two drink minimum will be struck from the record book or look. from the rule book. Yeah. Hey, Eddie Vero is up to seventh place. Super sub right there. Probably no music on the YouTube stream. Uh, yeah, because uh, I don't intend for that unless we have a moment that calls for it. Oh, that oh. Like they're not done wrecking. Probably not. Not even close. For those who watch on the YouTube stream, um, would we appreciate a music playlist during the races? I mean. I say this, yeah, when I watch, even though it's I watch it through Discord, um, I usually do have, like, the Cheetah Man theme occasionally playing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I, I it, listen to a lot of them on my own, so... Rich. Yes. Is it the normal one or a remix? It's the... It was, I think it's the normal one. It was the one that uh, is in Cooper's music oh, thing that he attached that to the... One. Yeah. The orchestral one? Yes. 87 and 16, I think we're going at it. But then I also have some other songs downloaded that I use for my series. I love Pokemon stuff, unsurprisingly. 
it's an Aaron Lycoya at it again. Well, Alright, everyone, do another shot. <laughs> and my liver is spinning. It's only thing that's like this, and if I, I spear, if I drink the alcohol, I will explode. Yeah, uh, that's kind of what I just do. I just kind of melt and just like after a while. But that after a while means uh, the next morning. Liver issue. No, it's called <laughs> it's called not having much alcohol tolerance anyway and being over thirty. Oh, that's a oh, problem. No. <laughs> oh no. Wee. Ooh, not a problem for a Kelly Splicing who got a piece of that. Let's. Uh... Yeah, Rip Tyler recovered, but I think they threw the yellow Why for that anyway. On your yeah, they did. It's harmful for you. They must have anticipated it getting much worse. Considering what we've seen from some cars, I can't blame them. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> we've uh, we've had some violent accidents today, and uh, Samantha Mason will be the lucky dog. Some cars in question. We had a ghetto again. Are you watching the stream? Yes. <laughs> I'm in disbelief how this happened again. <laughs> it caused it. Oh. Okay. Oh, Patrick O'Hannigan also had oh. an encounter with Phyllis Theodore. Rare Irish L. AM my time, and I'm gonna go away because otherwise I will basically immediately destroy my sleep schedule forever. I'm staying up late because I don't actually get up in the morning because my lecture is like this odd strike, basically. By the way, Rich, I want to thank you for refreshing my memory of the Cheetah Men Orchestra cover. Of course. Because I'm watching it now on YouTube, and I just realized how good this really is. That's oh, yeah, a, it's, uh... It's, it's a genuine banger, but, like... It is. That is it's a just, like, stock footage. It's just, like, stock footage over it, though. Yeah. yeah. Common, uh... Common VJ Pushanda W. I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, see ya. See you later, Vinny. I played this during 2014 PCC Europe Exhibition Sweden. So I don't remember. Go back to that race. How many years ago was that? 2014 Sweden. Yeah, I don't remember. Yes. So, what it was yesterday. It was definitely, it's not like it was yesterday. No, was it wasn't, that's why I don't remember. <laughs> I'll take Samantha your word Mason for it. will take the wave around. Leaders are uh, not hitting the pits again. Working our third caution. Looks like some in the midfield are coming in. Uh, one car has come in. Two, three, <laughs> four. Taking something. That's lane. Kenny Myatt, Ryan Gold, Tex Walton. Yeah. And others. Cars. Pit lane cameras are uh, not the oh, greatest. Did someone just stop up in the pit lane? No. Looks like Tex Gwaltley will be the first one out. Uh, he is back down. No, he isn't. Oh, yes, he is. Uh, so... Why is he two laps down? <laughs> he was in an earlier incident. He got a toe. I guess, particularly Ryan Gould comes out of the first of them because he's the furthest through the race. Tex Gwaltney is in last among the 35 cars still running.
We are a third of the way into this race, and we're only on lap 10. These guys are eating up a lot of time under caution. Base car is off. Daniel Sharp still leads the way in car number seven. Uh, once again, he is the points leader, racking up some uh, some more points by leading these laps right now. But Taylor Matthews is breathing down his neck. Eddie Vero up to fourth place. That's RWB Autosport with Sergey Yakovsky in fifth. That's right. Not had the best of starts this year. But they're hoping to turn oh, that hurt. around as he tries to hold off Bob Steffens and BJ Pushanda at once. I say this is the perfect place to turn it around for that team with it being a road course. I gotta hear the original piece of one. Yakovsky. That was Oof. not oh. good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's done for the day. So, so what was that about turning it around? Uh, well, literally. Sure, yeah. Huh? Ooh, that that got Bob Steffens too. Oh, that was a stack up. Stack up. S sticky stacky. I think we're gonna stay green. Yeah, Bob Steffens is coming in. That might be repairable, but... Can't if that car shows up... <laughs> is back in the pits. If that 87 shows up for another race, I might have it show up with uh, a different front clip. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, 82's yeah. done, Different front clip and hood. 82 is done, but they're giving service to the 87. Battle for second. As Daniel Sharp gets away. Ooh, splice and running Matthews off the road. Ooh. Yeah, Taylor's not going to like that. Skeeter Farnsworth also went off the road. It's like Bob Steffens. Is oh, either back the on the road. track or out of the race. Here he comes out of the pits. Yeah, uh, that oh, car is getting a new hood and new front clip. <laughs> All right. I can imagine it being the front clip and hood of the seven car if it survives. It's a funny way of saying fifteen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bright yellow <laughs> <and> clip. <laughs> Definitely not, Timmy. I mean, is that uh, is that 15 car coming back after this round? Um, it, I don't have any more races for it scheduled. I maybe might. Bo yeah, maybe uh, Bob Steffens could take that off of their hands as well. Although, um, Casey did talk to me about potentially coming back. Ooh. And uh, if if it's up to you, of course, I might put him in that car. I'm open to it. It, it, it. Um, but it'll be a different scheme. Todd Stater went way off the road. Just had a bit of a stack up. Wallace Baldwin up to ninth, but he got back into the, got into the back of the 16th. Ooh, Ryan no, no, Rickshaw. No, no. <laughs> Sorry. Ryan Rickshaw Did and the 11 getting a little personal. Did Hetzel seriously just take the name of a college and swap the first letters around? Yep. Oh my fuck, okay. And so Todd Sanders got more issues. That's a bad spot to park. 
pop that. <laughs> you can't pop that, right? Well, VJ Pushanda's in the pits. He's got damage, and we don't have a caution for some reason. Second. Uh, Ooh, he got ba into the back of the 06. Uh. <laughs> All right, I guess they're just going to leave the 68 out there. They're just putting up the hazard flag for the for the uh for the 68. Kenny Kelly Splice so, has now gotten up front. Let me get this straight. We've had how many single car spins that are way off the out of the way that result in a yellow? We had a car sitting in the racing line, powerless is fine. I guess. <laughs> That's <laughs> Okay. Yep. Hazard flag rules, they leave it out for a few laps and then they withdraw it since the debris is then considered ju ju just to be part of the racing course. Has anything else happened? Oh! That was nah. rude. Ooh! Uh, this so, is really so, a college wiped out a person. Well, they're yellow. Wait. Something happened to Rip Tyler? Oh, yeah, yeah. Baldwin got into the back of them earlier. I think we're caught up on incidents now. We're still green. As far as I know, yes, we are. A few minutes to halfway. I will save the results. Or once we hit um, 3059, I will save the results the next time all the cars pass the start finish line. Hey, uh, Siege. Yes. I have made cosmetic alterations to the 87. <laughs> nice. All right, I will gladly accept that after this race. I love it. <clears throat> Danica Hollifield now occup occupies the fourth spot in the uh, best start to the season she's ever had. Isn't she leading the points? She was leading the points going into Talladega, I think. There you go. Aubrey Wood in fifth. Her first start of the year. Ty McDermott is back up to sixth place. And it's Alicia Reyes in seventh. Ryan Rickshaw eighth. Anthony Griffith ninth. And Caitlin Tannerhill rounds out the top ten. Great start to the year for Caitlin Tanner Hill and uh, uh, Mid Atlantic Motorsports as well. There's the other SWH car of Scott Wheeler sitting in 11th place. that in the pits. Oh, Lucas Sweeney's got trouble. I think oh, yeah. that was the uh, 60, as we saw earlier. Yep, Lucas Sweeney just piles into the back of uh, Kenny Myatt. Bonk. Did uh, Stefan's go a lap down? No, he did not. Huh? He did not. Okay. Uh, Ooh, this is gonna get sketchy. Just about at halfway, Siege. Alright, thank you.
think this time by I'll save the results as they run. So Kelly Splicen is our leader. Followed by Daniel Sharp, then it's Taylor Matthews. David Bloom's just gone a lap down. Annika Hollifield in fourth. Ty McDermott up to up to the fifth spot right now. I think he might be the fastest cool. car on one of the fastest cars on the track right now. Aubrey Woods falling to seventh. I wonder if it's for reasons like this one. Ooh, Eddie Vero, and that's three wide. Caitlin Tannerhill muscling her way through. And a wide. Ooh. Uh, it's almost a wall. Uh, Keegan Mallory's got damage. That is that, that looks yellow? like it's going to be a mess. And Daniel Sharp has taken over the race lead. And we got a yellow. Uh, what's happening now? There is a yellow car that was slowing. I'm not sure if that's that just David him Bloom. being... Is that David Bloom being David Bloom? Or was that... Yeah. That was David Bloom da David being David Bloom. Bloom. Alright, I'll Thanks. save the results here. Since we got a yellow anyway. Oh, uh, let's see what that yellow's for. Butch Higley just narrowly avoids going a lap down. Keegan Mallory um, was not the cause of the caution, is the lucky dog. Yeah, he's in, he's in clear trouble here. When did this happen? Oh, there we go. Uh, Had help from uh, Camden Rhodes. I don't know if that was the caution, though. Yeah, maybe not. There was a really slow... Yeah, uh, David Bloom, I think, was... Uh... Yeah. There was a big gaggle of cars catching David Bloom real quick. Yeah. There we go. There's the caution. This is still on? Yeah, we game had crashed. a game crash. Um, and I forgot to save it halfway, so we're doing it, get, doing it again. Oh! Well. I mean, that's fine. Rip. I'm Tyler? I mean, that's fine. I get to watch a little bit of it. How's everyone doing? Fine. Well, the front oh. clip is still fine on that car. Ah, so that's where the red tires come from. Yep, They're Anthony Griffith them. tagged David Bloom. You called it. Anthony Griffith be like, stop ripping off my paint scheme, buddy. Uh, Anthony Griffith had the OG bright yellow and red car. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he said stop ripping off my paint scheme and drove himself off the track in turn. Now, how did Daniel Sharp take the lead? He passed Kelly Splice. <laughs> well, yeah, but how did that happen? In the carousel. Oh, that was a very conservative entry into the carousel for Kelly Splice, and, and Sharp takes advantage. Uh, leans on her a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> little, little rub. Hmm. The 7 and 41 going at it. Where have we seen this before? <laughs> yeah. Bear versus LaCoya again. And as in LaCoya, that Max Keegan Mallory is quite done. Love you, Woodard, but LaMau. <laughs> what did Mallory do? Oh, he actually, like, physically broke down. Um, David Bloom gets the lucky dog. Big think. I wonder if Griffith will get going from that. Or do you think that that was too high of a speed? Let's see. Uh, I think he went in too fast. I'm... I'm destroyed. Collapsed. We'll save the results after Butch Higley crosses the line. 
Whatever that is. <laughs> oh, nope. 15 is done. Oh, yeah. But the front clip is salvageable, which means that it's going on the 87. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so is he going to pick up the Bum and Beaver sponsorship to go with it? Yes. Yes, he is. So, how's the race been? Well, it looks a little smashy if Butch Higley's in the top 30. Yeah, it's Nelson yeah, Ledges. It's, yeah, it's been a little little crazy. Looks like my namesake got taken out early. Blew up. Skill issue. And that's the halfway results preserved. Just in case something happens... Uh, got another. If we get another game crash or power loss, Daniel Sharp will be the winner. But oh, you had a power loss not, too. But that has not happened. Well, imagine that Daniel Sharp winning because someone actually remembered to save the results. Well, now, 44 blew up early, I guess. Yeah. That's what I... Or, uh, apparently, not only did I buy the uh, owner points of the 44, I bought the uh, equipment durability of the 44. Car 44 finishes P44. Leaders are in. It's a damn, it's a damn shame, shame you didn't save that test race last night where the two cars speared the pit wall and still, it's still like finished the race. Ryan Gold will stay out and take the race lead. He'll be followed by Daniel Bouchard, Megan Gallagher, Samantha Mason. Then it's Phyllis Theodore, Patrick O'Hannigan, John Berg, Lucas Sweeney, VJ Bouchanda, and Wallace Baldwin. Danica Hollifield will be the first will be the first one out of the pits. What did she take? I think Ty, Ty McDermott's gonna be next. So there's the uh, 25's hit stats. If this means anything. Did she have 12.11 gallons of fuel left? Yes. Okay. Slow pit stop for the seven. And the 11 and 63. They have issues. Eleven says came out or was done with their pit stop, hmm. and the sixty three as well. Hmm. Well, that's no good. Better hurry. Do they have penalties, baby? I don't think so. Or are they changing brake pads? <laughs> <laughs> Oxy, since when was the 91 leading? What happened to the 70 D pit? Uh, 91 stayed out. Eh. Yeah, all the, uh, all the front-running cars at the moment stayed out. First one out of the pits was, I believe, Danica Hollifield. I keep seeing that 06, and I keep thinking it's that, uh, 
crashing would be over me as CC East. I keep having to remember it's your car, Ryan. Which is, yeah, like, just, the complete opposite of the crash mobile from the ASCC East. Well, Dave, if you just used your eyes, you would see that it's not the same car. I mean, it wasn't in the <laughs> shot, so it was... <laughs> it was in the running order, though. Good recovery drive by Samantha Mason after that uh, penalty. Yeah. Agreed. Meanwhile, John Burr restarted in seventh place. Oh, no. Speaking of the 06, what happened to it? I assume they pit. Oh, yeah, probably. They pitted, the and I think they had, okay. a, they had a bad stop. Ah, figures. Oh, yeah, there, there, there she is. Yeah, we got to cut through all the bozos in the back. Oh, Theodore's off. Oh, Hannigan's off. No caution? I don't think so. Nope. Oh. Yeah, there's a wall <laughs> right there. 19 car. And 74. Fuck. <laughs> 74 was gonna go into the wall, too. And it looks like, uh, unfortunately, Eddie Vero and Aaliyah Shireas are having difficulties. Meanwhile, Ryan Gold is pulled away from Daniel Bouchard. Megan Gallagher I've... holding off Samantha Mason for the third spot. Here comes VJ Pushanda. I think that could be an issue with, like, uh... Some, like, what happens to some people at some tracks where, like, the cars are too close on pit road, maybe? Yeah. Like, maybe they're waiting for each other. And yeah. it's just a standoff. No, you go first. <laughs> well, um, oh, I thought you... I thought, Rutata, I thought you were actually going to say it was an issue with skill. I mean, that too, but... <laughs> well, the 38 got out, it looks like. Uh-oh! Oh, oh... Oh, that's no. a very oh, bad no. thing happening in the back. Oh, that's not good. That's that the is... track blocked. That is bad. Oh, uh, no, we're going to get through that. But holy crap. What happened to Ty McDermott? So I'm and Jay's going to be looking for two drivers is what I'm getting at. Yeah, I, so. I saw that developing in the back. I saw one car go shooting off to, like, the side. Narnia. What is Aubrey Wood doing? Wood. Does she have a problem? She, she no. has damage. Oh, she, she does. Has problem. Yeah, she, she got damage from some... She got the into the eight. back of the eight. Hello, Daniela. You just missed whatever the hell's about to happen here. No, you can believe Miss in to begin with. Oh. Okay, that actually wasn't as quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Did you see <laughs> Taylor Moses that? Holy crap. Yeah, let's go on board watch the 06. That, yeah, watch that gap just disappear. Sending, are flipping, space disappearing, and hello! Nice avoidance. Nice job. Came with the uh, six car up ahead and the two. Somehow they split it, despite trying to take each other out. Also, I like the bit where the 60. Hold on, that's the 51, never mind. Maybe Aubrey Wood's really pissed off at Lucas Sweeney right now. Something. Like, legit, yeah, that is freaking hilarious. Rule one of racing.
to wreck someone without wrecking yourself. <laughs> they weren't exactly near each other. Uh, she probably thinks the 8 brake checked her. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, so she goes and brake checks him and drives, like, right in front of him. That actually wasn't quite as bad of a wreck as I, as it first looked. Um, I was going to say, you might want to take a peek at the 8 car, though, because the 8 car really took a hit, I think. I, uh, appear to have picked a good time to return. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we missed the peak, uh, uh, what's your catchphrase again, Vinny? I just uh, see the 31 cars out of the race I, I was referring to. <laughs> 31 just straight up dicked the 8 car. Like, ran into the back of the 8 car, did a bunch of damage to herself, and then turned right into him on the uh, front stretch. Well, that's nice and embarrassing. <laughs> and very, very hard. I hate how long it's taken me to realize that Vine logo is uh, a lock. Wow, that was. Oh my goodness, what the heck? And you almost killed another official. <laughs> yeah. You know they're all clones, right? They, we've told you that one, right? It's okay, the officials are made of stellinium. Oh, Rip Tyler. Looks like he might be done. Rip and Pepperoni. Patrick O'Hannigan is also done. Camden Rhodes will be the lucky dog. El Coya. Airfold 31 still has a chance to take more cars out. Still racing back to the line, 91 is up front. BJ Bouchanda is going to get around Daniel Bouchard for a second. <laughs> the hoodless BJ Bouchanda. BJ Bouchanda going topless, I see. Wait, that almost works. Kelly Splicen trying for third. You try it too hard sometimes, Dave. <laughs> Maybe. And that's going to shake up the top ten. Yeah. Let's see if... Let's see if these guys pit. Camden Rhodes, take your wave around, please. Again. I'm parking the 31 if she uh, tries to come back out. That was egregious. Can you just park her now? Yeah, I could. You know, when you said Eddie Vero in the 11, I, th I thought you meant Cam the Cam you called Camden Rhodes by the wrong name, but apparently, yeah. The 63 and the 11 are stuck in each other. Stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> This is going so much worse than the first running was for me. Yeah, Sin, can we just, I don't know, <laughs> use the qualifying results? <laughs> no. That's racing. <laughs> yeah, <it works. laughs> Didn't mean to sound complainy. It's just <laughs> okay, Ryan. You're no, I, 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 I'm around. <laughs> I know, Vinny. You're not the kind of person to uh, legitimately complain. Ready? Yeah, I saw Dave. Man, you know, it's always funny when you see somebody who actually takes these seriously and like actually leaves <laughs> leaves the voice chat when their drivers <laughs> wreck out. Okay, are we applying? Yeah. Huh? Uh, I, this would be a good time to point out, um, for anyone who 
might be unfamiliar with this show, this is merely a show. This is the the name Offline League is kind of a misnomer. It's not a competition. There are no stakes. There are no prizes. We're just watching AI cars make fools of themselves. You promised Wait, this me isn't money. real? Hey. You promised me money, Siege. However, you promised me a hundred dollars in my bank account if one of my cars won. What do you mean this like, is real? This is this no shish. This is horrible. This is unfair. I'm happy. I'll see you guys never again. The only person who might be benefiting from any of this is Mike Please, with the me. Bum and Beaver sponsorship. Hi, yeah. that's me. I own this place. Yes, that is a real <laughs> business in, up in Chagrin Falls, Ohio. If you happen to be in that area, go in, say <laughs> it's hi, also... say what brought you there, if and see what happens. If it's the Fark race, then Lamau, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will get you a free beer. <laughs> okay, so what if you happen to go to college in the area and you show up there? Um, uh, we'll work something out. Yeah, <laughs> and last night, uh, it's a shame that the place is closed tonight, otherwise there would be a Fark watch party <laughs> for all the customers. Who said I wasn't there watching it? Oh, are you? Ah! Not right now. Oh, but when we when you first started the stream, yes, I was. Oh, oh all right, thought, cool. Yeah. I totally misheard you. I, I thought you said yeah. it was closed on Mondays. Oh no, yeah. we like the we're... owner still has to be there on Monday. Yeah, we. When when do you think we brew in keg? Oh, right. I guess I've never run a brewery. I'm not familiar with these. Yeah, things. Vinny. We've got someone to ask if you ever do, at least. On our off days, we make product. That makes sense, now that you mention it. As I was saying, yes, this is a this is egregious. This but, should have been... Never mind. Yeah, Rich. If yeah. You are, if you show up and you're under drinking, then you can still get merchandise. <laughs> get to and you guys sell some, soft drinks, right? Ships. Or are you yeah. still working? Yeah, okay. we do. Do you have, like, bar food there yet? Yes. There you go, Rich. Get yourself, like, a big... A big big old pretzel with salt on it. Oh, we don't do that yet. <laughs> yet. Um, we do have a pop-up kitchen and music on Saturdays. Nice. Like, every Saturday through May 6th right now. So nice. after this latest round of pit stops, the front of the field has been jumbled once again. The cars that did not pit on the last caution finally did so. Kelly Splicen was put back at the front of the field, followed by Danica Hollifield and Wallace Baldwin in third place. When did he last pit? Uh, did he stay out? What caution? I can't remember. Uh, he pitted at 14. Green. But nobody, um... I don't think anybody's taken fuel. Yeah, you think so? Uh, so Phil Theodore took a splash. A few people. Oh. Uh, this took splashes half. Yeah. All right, we're going back. But the uh, the uh, the cars that uh didn't come in are gonna win the uh the Bum and Beaver race to the tap. Um, <laughs> looking like that's gonna be around lap 35, though. So, uh, maybe not. See how this that's, race goes. We are just that under card. 15 minutes to go now. If uh, if they get another caution, uh, cars might actually be able to stretch it all the way. X Waltney's trying to get himself back into contention. He is two laps down, but restarted fourth in line, trying to get around Wallace Baldwin. Yeah, he might be holding people up. The uh, Listen, he's a gentleman driver, local. He's doing his best, okay. And he's the titled, last titled sponsored car is having a pretty good run right now. And uh, Stephens has worked his way back up into the top ten. Bubbly stupor in the eighty-seven. Oh, Big there goes sentence. the seven. Yep. Oh, Rickshaw gets turned around. 
Dang it. And Rip Tyler is looking a little uh, incapacitated. Dead. <laughs> no caution. Oh yeah, that oh, was so part of that stack that. up. Oh no, that wasn't his team. Yeah. Okay, he got pushed across the front of his teammate. Yeah, that's Ryan both of the uh, power surge cars in. To the 91 sweep up. Oh, he did. But he only caught the uh, back of the car on that wall. He will rejoin the track. He might actually Ryan. finish a race. He's on his way to doing that. Ryan Gold gets reverse alchemy into common materials. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and here I thought my Ryan Gould pumps was going to be a funny joke. Alicia Never Reyes, mind. Alicia Reyes, and Eddie Vero have finally made their way back onto the track. How many laps down are they? They are five laps down. What? Happened? I think you could probably lap plus them all the way up to like one lap down. That'd be only fair. Well, there is a car running two laps down. Would it be fair to do that? I'm literally asking out of curiosity. Oh, leader off. What on earth happened? They got stuck inside of each other in the pits. Yeah. Isn't that not a problem with better cautions? Uh, I think it's specifically because it was better cautions that it was a problem. <laughs> yeah, I think they... M maybe they had some kind of standoff on, um, like, waiting on each other. Um, um Siege. Yeah, I'm gonna lap plus the 63 and 11. I'd, I'd put him to... What, Your laps down? What, one or two laps down? Yeah. Well, my thing is, Gwaltney's uh, two laps down, and that's by legitimacy, so... Oh, well, where are they off. On, where are the 63 and 11 on track, compared to everyone else? They are the next cars uh, in front of the leader. Um, I just put him on the tail end of the lead lap, honestly. Uh-oh, bye-bye, Daniel Sharp. I need to update the pace car. Roy, uh, not Roy. Rick Shaw's still in the top 15, I believe, so despite that spin, it's a good run for him. Uh, Sharp and, uh... Sharp and Mason have pitted, yes. Wonder why. I saw Sharp going off track a little while ago, but that's a good question. Well, we know why uh, Mason's in the pits. Oh. Rudely turned what? by the 22. That drew a caution, I think. And Daniel Sharp's no. got damage. That's your points oh. leader, I may remind you. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, Daniel Sharp trying to take out the Smash Beer car on behalf of Bum and Beaver Brewery, but that backfired. <laughs> that looks repairable. Oh. We've only got 10 minutes left in this race, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up on 10 yeah, minutes I think, to I, go. I think he's going to get back out there. Yeah. He's getting service. Um, did, uh, did that put these cars back on the lead lap. Let's see where it puts them. Ooh, Danny Hollifield being hounded by Taylor Matthews. A little bit of contact. Okay, so they're both one lap down. Alright, there we go. Kelly Splice and still ripping off some great laps. 
Five and a half seconds clear of Taylor Matthews. BJ Pushanda still holding down fourth with his hood missing. And Caitlin Tannerhill gunning for a top five right now. Kenny Myatt going for sixth in the uh, other Bum and Beaver car, the one that has survived. So Ryan, you think you, the 06 can get uh, five seconds in five and a half seconds and 10 minutes? He did a good job pulling away from uh, Wheeler there. Yeah. yeah we'll, see what happens. we'll see what happens with the 41. Wheeler has fallen into the clutches of Daniel Bouchard. And rounding. Yeah, Bob Steffens rounds out the top 10 here. Perseverance. Yeah. Never lost a lap in all of his troubles. Ooh, Scott Wheeler fell way, way back on that lap. Would we say the uh, 49 team uh, made off with 8th place there in that exchange? Sure. Uh... Uh, all right, I'm going to give it a little baseball bat. Who wants the first swing? Uh, sure. Yo. Sign me up. I think Sharp's gotten by the uh, 11 here. Or came yeah, out in between like her it. and the 63. Yeah, came out in between. Matthews continues to lose uh, time. Six point yeah. three two. So it's like, like a board. second a lap. It's license yeah. pulling away. Here comes that second pack, catching Caitlin Tanner Hill. I wonder if she's gonna die on that Tanner Hill. No? <laughs> Cooper, do you have any baseball bats left? <laughs> I ain't doing shit to Mike. It sounded better in my head to be to be fair. I'm gonna use the old Dave excuse. 49 leaning on the 97. I mean, I was gonna say... No. Nope. You don't have to. And my it into the top five? Question mark? Tanner has yeah. making a yeah. fight for him. Well, eh, he's wide. Well, that's rude to say about Kenny. My it has <laughs> yeah, Master Cap experience. Is. <laughs> Kenny is not a large person. <laughs> Danica Hallfield um, has lost third place. Actually, if my math is correct. Maya and Stephens are the only drivers to have Master Cup experience in the top 10. I think. No. Has, has, Taylor, no, Matthews, has Taylor Matthews yeah. started a Master Cup race? Not yet. Yes, yeah, so this might change. Great. <laughs> this oh, might Jesus. change two years in the past. Yeah. 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 I think she's already has an attempt. I think uh, Splicen does too. Yeah. Yeah. Splicen is a few. Baby. Scott Wheeler's car is just Whoa. Evil looking right now. Wow. Is that Rickshaw in the background? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> yes, car. it is. He's not Holding done down yet. Down 11th. There should be an alternative paint scheme on the 22 that just says purple car. Because that thing really is purple. Closing in on five minutes to go. That reminds me, what's Monica Rook up to these days? Not being trusted behind the wheel of anything, probably. Gotcha. Kelly Splicen continues to pull away. Gap is almost nine seconds back to Taylor Matthews. Wait, who what's... isn't being trusted behind the wheel of anything? 
Monica Mon Rook. Yeah. What's Monica Rook doing? Either moving only forwards, sideways, or backwards. Oh, okay. Or dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wasn't she, was she pizza at, uh... No, I'm thinking of somebody else. Uh, Megan Driver? Yes, thank you. I get Megan Driver and Kelly Splice and confused, but it is the same team after all. I was about to say, aren't they the same team? It's Woodard. They're Woodard creations. Grace not being nice. Yeah, there's a person that's had Master Cup experience. Oh, at least Reyes, yeah. BG Pushant is catching the 06. Um, 49 got around the 77. Yeah, but I he think did. he's struggling to get around the 2. Let's see oh, what no. happened. It was the 006. Oh, well, no. Yep. Shoved him off the road. Does the 77 have damage? Nope. Not really. Well, that's one way to make a pass. Wait, where where did the 97 go? Poof. I thought I saw him go flying off the road. Well, he's right he there. No, he's in the back. Somebody else might have gone oh, off. Oh, he turned the 84. I was oh. going to say, he's doing God's work, I see. Oh, not... Mm. Does John Burr have enough money to fix that? No. <laughs> In, into the... <laughs> <laughs> that, that car just went into the, the chain link fence thing. <laughs> he pulled a Mark Martin. I was going to say, has anyone here ever uh, listened to the Jack Baldwin episode of Dinner with Racers? Oh my god, he's cut him off. Because there's a story Baldwin tells about him getting in a wreck at uh, Summit Point where nobody actually knew he was in a wreck and he just basically disappeared. Yeah, uh, that could be the case here. That's it's like, really dangerous. Mind you, this was in 19, like, I think either 88 or 89 when that happened. That kind of tracks, honestly. And it was Summit Point, which was like a real similar track to this. Battle for second. What? I think what? he means in terms of scenery. Um, and uh, it was um, not well, like, it didn't have, it had parts you could, like, literally end up in trees and still kind of like the 06 has got to be down on power if that damage 62 is up her butt like that or if Sean is that just that good down on power or down on a driver well as I'm thinking of a different track never mind uh yeah meanwhile Kelly Splice in here it getting introduced to lap traffic uh track sharp Crack, I was thinking I was in California. I was be like, what? This is like fucking San Diego. Oh, where'd uh, where'd I Sharp I know go? which one you're talking about. Oh, yeah. he's way up the road. What happened to Sharp? You're thinking California. Willow Springs, I'm no, probably. No, yeah. Sharp's fine. He's, um... See, yeah. Sharp's fine. I was just wondering where Alicia Reyes went, because they were he racing was... around each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sharp crashed. Yeah, where's the 11? No. Uh, I was just wondering how the 11 got so far back. Or if Sharp was just that fast. Yeah, Sharp came back out in front, uh, or in between the 63 and the 11. 63 is still okay, yeah. up the road. Oh, yeah, he's, he's oh, running. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sharp got past 63 now. Yeah, he passed his car on the track. One of them. So, uh, do you think the officials have discovered the uh, 84 in the fence yet? No. <laughs> oh, Florina, I'm sorry. Uh, welcome to the chat, by the way. We are at uh, two minutes to go now. Kelly um, Splison really yeah. doesn't need to be messing around with these lapped cars. Uh, so all I have to say is uh, uh, my sincerest condolences. If my math is correct, Siege, can you pull up chat real quick? Oh, 
Okay. You're looking at the seven? No, I'm looking at uh, fuel. Fuel might be an issue. Hmm. I don't think Speak we're making of the it devil, to lap 65 in. Oh. Yo, oh, yeah. Oh, could be. Does she have damage? Yes. Oh, yep. That'll do it. Nobody else is in. Yeah, the uh, timer, um, the timer above me is the timer in the replay bar down here, which is cropped out. One minute. Yep. I think next time by, it'll be two to go. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, Chet, uh, there's splashing. a caution. That's uh, Tanner Hill coming out of the pits. Yeah. How much fuel did she have left? Four gallons? Is that 6.6? .6? Okay, it, it's a little blurry on my end, so. Is this really going to be a fuel mileage race? I don't know. A shame and a relief <laughs> for the for the lack of an M and MPJ three P. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, chat's flashing. Somebody's in the pits, I think. David Bloom. By the way, we hit time. Yep. Uh, David Bloom in the pits, no loss to society. Two to go. David Bloom in his natural habitat. DJ oh. McMuddybags got around the 06. Yeah, he did. What's happening with the 77? Uh, like, that car's Do dropping. Does he have the fuel, though, is the question. Now the question. Uh, oh. Go back to the... Oh. Oh, looks like no, John the... Burr might have had a little hand yeah, in that. Yeah, I was going to say it looked like... Oh. Uh, 77 is kind of falling, I noticed. That's no, just um, running That's in that pack. Yeah. Well, at least Kenny's going to get a double, double top 10 with his characters if it holds up. Which, what's the other character? Kushanda. Kushanda. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he went off the road. That was a few laps ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fair. I think we saw that even. I mean, right now, McMoneybags is in a position to win if Kelly Splicer runs out of fuel. Provided he doesn't run out of fuel himself. MPJ when she reads the Nelson Ledges script. <laughs> Next time by, unless there's a caution, it'll be the white flag for Kelly Splicen. Yeah, and what happens if there's a caution? Well, then we go to overtime. All you gotta do is not fuck it up. Overtime. Yep. And not run out of gas. Coming around. The final corner. No caution in sight. White flag for the 41. She finally gets past the uh, 27, taking her sweet time to do so. She can more than afford to do that. Yeah, that that lap car might have, might have been a blessing because she that Splicer didn't have to use a lot, a lot of fuel. She might be okay. Uh, Hollow Steve. Fields uh, losing more time. Still on track, though. I don't think uh, McKinley's going to catch her. No. Ooh. All she has to do is not bin it. Kelly Splicen went for a very, very long time without following up on her first victory, and then she grabbed, I think it was two in a row last year. It really was a breakout season for the 41 team. And she's going to keep up that momentum from 2019 pre-pandemic. Kelly Splicen comes around to take her first win of the year at Nelson Ledges.
We have cars in the pits. Oh, Bob Steffen's pitted. He needed a splash. License oh, sticks into the rest Danica of the Danica Hollifield. Did not have the fuel. Who else did? You know? There's one more car coming in. Oh, just roll across oh. the oh. car. It's got fourth. Wheeler got third. Oh no, that's Kenny. <laughs> yeah, that I that second pack of cars, they they all lost it. Ryan Rickshaw is eighth. Megan Gallagher is ninth. Who's gonna take tenth? Might be Hollifield. <laughs> Where's uh, Splicing and all this? Splicing won the race. No, I mean, like, where's she on oh, track? Oh, yeah. A uh, quick question. Did you mean to leave the ASC save thing on the David Bloom car? Alright. Is anyone... Uh-oh. You just noticed... You're just noticing that now? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter, right. but... Yeah, go ahead and save the results here. Yeah. yeah. NR2003 has stopped responding. Don't you put that juju on me. <laughs> oh, Cooper. Dang it, you got yeah, my get, Yeah, yeah get the export. There you go. And there we go. Kelly Splicen is officially the winner. Well, pending Room of Doom. Oh, right. We do have that. Back in a minute. You legitimately reminded me there. These guys almost got off scot free. Siege. Yes. All of the cars, quote unquote, ran out of gas to avoid the room of doom. <laughs> 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 well, the uh, top ten really got jumbled up at the end there. So Kelly Splicen uh, is first. VJ Pushan is second. Taylor Matthews hangs on to third place. Michael McKinley took fourth. After not pitting on the last lap, Scott Wheeler bypassed everybody who pitted, grabs himself a top five in his first start of the season, and Skeeter Farnsworth rallies back to finish sixth for Power Surge Incorporated. Ryan Gold finally finishes a race for Rackham Motorsports, and it's a big result, seventh place for Car 91. And Ryan Rickshaw in his first start of the season, another big result, eighth place for the Rich Roy-owned team. Megan Gallagher finally needed, finally got a good result. Uh, that was ninth, and Danica Hollifield tumbled down to 10th place from a potential top 5 run. But, don't go away folks, we got Room of Doom coming up next. Hey, uh, Siege, what happened to the 6? Uh, it looks like they were out by an accident. I don't remember them crashing. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna have a quick look. This was on lap 31. Uh, Wallace Baldwin was running in 11th. Oh, I remember this. Just oh, did we get this on camera? I think so. I can't remember. Wait, no, no, no we Ryan didn't. Ryan Gold cleaned him out. <laughs> That's a big time clean out. What the hell him. was that? That was rude. <laughs> Oh, no, he swept across the 29. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that car just took a lot of damage. Oh, no. Tire and then wall. just finished he himself the, off. He'd... That wasn't the same lap uh, Tyler got dropped, kicked, was it? No. No. There's Saw a gap, Tyler. went for it. If gap car. I tried to pass on the apex of the kink. <laughs> yeah, that was egregious, but we missed it, so we're not going to penalize it. It's just how it goes, NASCAR rules. So, uh, Myatt and Stefan's are 14th and 15th? Uh, yeah, looks like that's how they're going to come out. Alright, um, for fairness, are, are you going to score them a lap down? Uh, or, yeah. 
Okay. I'll just consider that a lap down. What really matters is their place in the results. Okay. I don't know if you track laps completed or anything or use that for anything. So. It doesn't. I don't really use it for anything. Okay. The only reason I brought it up is that like that's that's my second tiebreaker when it comes to points. <laughs> <laughs> really? All right, I'm going to take the Discord stream down. Is the uh, YouTube stream still good? Yes, it is. All right. Don't need the timer anymore. Browser's really lagging right now. My computer is crying. By the way, if you enjoyed today's race and today's chaos, we have Cooper to thank. They uh, tossed me their road course racing I&I. &I. Yay. All right, folks, what time is it? Room, Room of, of doom. doom. Almost in sync. <laughs> well, I got it at the end. Got it, got it at the end. I was picking up what you were throwing down. <laughs> you have never joined us before, here's how this part of the show works. We're going to inspect the top 10 finishers from 10th to 1st. We're going to roll a die for each of them. If it's anything other than if the roll is anything other than a 1, they are safe. They pass tech inspection. If they do roll a 1, we will 
roll a d6 to determine their penalty. Tenth through sixth will roll a d20, and then for the drama, p5 through p1 will roll a d10. Danica Hollifield, our tenth place finisher, is up first. And it's a 10 for Danica Hollifield. She is safe. Megan Gallagher, our 9th place finisher, is up next. And Megan Gallagher is safe. Welcome to the Farklow Dollar Series, Ryan Rickshaw. The, the officials would like to have a look at your car. Ryan Rickshaw passes tech. It was then discovered that the car was, in fact, three wheels. <laughs> Ryan Gold, you're up next. And Ryan Gold is safe. He also avoids um, scrutiny for that accident with Wallace Baldwin. Skeeter Farnsworth, our last D20, D20 roll. Ooh, that was almost a one, but it wasn't. Skeeter Farnsworth escapes by the skin of his teeth. Room of Doom has been kind so far. But now we get into the D10 rolls. Scott Wheeler, our <sighs> fifth place finisher, is up next. He says with his driver sitting in P3, having been dinged last time by Room of Doom. Scott Wheeler escapes. Michael McKinley is up next, our fourth place finisher. The first beneficiary of all those cars pitting on the last lap. I'm surprised he didn't, he didn't get renamed to Michael Denali. And Michael McKinley will keep his third uh, place finish. <laughs> 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 what, what, you did what you did there, I see it. I do not. Anyway, Taylor Matthews is up next. <laughs> no, uh, Mount McKinley in Alaska was renamed to uh, Denali. Oh, all right. Because that was the original name. I think that was the original Aber uh, the indigenous name for it. Yeah. All right, then. By the way, Taylor Matthews passes tech. Ray. Her Taylor Swift impression was much more spot on this time around. <laughs> and the officials are pleased. BJ Pushanda, who finished second without a hood, is up next. That's a 10. VJ Pushanda passes tech. Kelly Splicen, our race winner, is last. Is she feeling the hunger of Room of Doom? Ooh, that was almost bad, but Kelly Splicen keeps her win and all the points with a 7. So Room of Doom tonight was kind. Weighted dice for Lycoya. Rigged. <laughs> <laughs> On that accusation, um, <laughs> I'm Charlie Gearhart. I think we had fun tonight, considering uh, the that that we went a bit longer than one hour. Mm -hmm. So.
thank you all for joining me in the uh, EFR uh, Discord off-color commentary and in the YouTube chat. Thank you all for a farking good time. Uh, I'll see you guys around.